morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, so today um, I would like to talk about uh, a fundamental um, principle, um, one of the aspects of our Shin Buddhism, which um, in our denomination we often talk about the three poisons. And um, the reason why it is really important in our teaching is that we tend to, you know, ignore, we tend to forget of our three poisons, um, which we always have to um, realize. We have to keep it in our mind. And um, so in one of our, one of the writings of Shin Shonin, the founder of our denomination, um, he described human nature as being fully filled with pride and ego. So he describes human with pride and ego like a person drunk with ignorance. Um, and he indicated that we tend to prefer these three kinds of um, intoxicants which are the ignorance, and the anger, and the greed. So this is the three poisons. And we are always so intoxicated by these, um, th these substances that it is hard for us to always remind how drunk we are. And I, I have a story to share today, and um, this is a story that um, I heard, which is, uh, which is true, and um, the story illustrates this notion of the three poisons. So um, the story starts with a, a man and his wife who lived in a, a small apartment uh, next door to the man's best friend. And one day, uh, the wife had just finished preparing dinner and went, uh, went to wake up her husband who was taking a nap. And uh, when she entered the room, um, she saw her husband you know, smiling and moaning in his dream. And she assumed he was dreaming. So after the wife woke up, you know, woke up her husband, um, she told him about how he had been smiling and moaning in his sleep. So he, she said, you must have had quite a dream. Tell me about it. And the husband replied, no, I wasn't dreaming. And hearing this, um, the wife said, no, you were. You were dreaming. And you must have been dreaming, or else, why would you be smiling and moaning in your sleep? The husband did not know what to say, um, but simply said, No, I was not dreaming. If, if I had been dreaming, I would have told you about the dream already. And his wife um, remained unsatisfied with the answer and doubted um, her husband, thinking that he had a secret that he could not share with her. Um, and after the, that conversation, um, she got really upset and actually she burst into tears. And the husband was very surprised and um, desperately said, no, no, I, I, I didn't dream. And I can't, I can't tell you what I was dreaming if I wasn't dreaming. Um, but his response only made his wife angry and two of them began fighting. And they were like screaming to each other, they were shouting to each other, and their shouting um, reached to the, to the next door, which the next door was his, 
friends, the husband's friend's room. And um, the husband's friend grew concerned, concerned and ran to their room, to their, you know, their apartment. And asking about why, you know, they were fighting, the friend felt really disappointed in them and scolded them by saying, that is so silly. Um, it's just a dream. And you're fighting over a dream? What, what, what's the matter with both of you? <laughs> and um, he also said that you're, you, you guys are causing all, all this trouble for everyone in this apartment. And at this point, the wife left the room, left the apartment. She was so disappointed. And the husband apologized to, um, you know, make his friend to calm down. And finally, his friend regained his, um, he, he calmed <coughs> down and, and then said to the husband, By the way, what kind of dream do you have? <laughs> <laughs> dream that you had that you could not even tell your wife about it. Mm. It must have been really interesting. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> and I am your best friend after all. <laughs> then the husband got really upset. He desperately said, I said I was not dreaming. If I was dreaming, I, I told you, I, I have been, you know, telling you about the dream already. And um, hearing this, the friend said, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ever tell your wife. <laughs> and, um, but the husband gained his frustration and he, he was really upset, saying that, look, I was not dreaming. Um, you know, cut it out. Then, um, the friend got really upset. He got mad and he said that, we have been friends even before you got married. <laughs> what does it mean that you will not trust me enough to tell me about your dream? And two, began fighting. <laughs> and yelling at each other. And the yelling, the shouting um, eventually reached to the downstairs to the landlord. And then the next, the landlord came up to see what was the matter. And when he found out, the landlord scolded them. That is so silly. You're causing problems for everyone in this apartment. It's just a dream. Forget about it. Um, so the friend, um, who was really upset, left at this point. And, as you can imagine, the landlord said, By the way... <laughs> so, um, actually in this story, um, the husband got divorced. He lost his best friend. And he had to move out of the apartment. Now, um, was the husband dreaming or not? Was he? <clears throat> so, to the end, we cannot be certain. And, um, and actually, this is the point of the story that when um, Shin Nashoni, the founder, our founder, um, said ignorance was one of our three poisons, he actually warns us that there is much that we cannot know. We just cannot know. <clears throat> and we must know that there are things that are, um, are not, you know, comprehensive, and that we, we can never know for certain as the wife, the friend, and the landlord sought to do. 
And so that is to say, we kind of must you know, acknowledge and, and then accept that there are limits, human limits, um, to what we can know and not to be greedy to know. But unfortunately, we can't do it. This is our curiosity. We want to know, but we can't know. That's why um, Shin Nanshuan point out that, however, it will be difficult. But the first step is to always keep in your mind that we have these three poisons. Everyone has it. This is the human nature. We can't just take out the human nature and leave it, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, however, we can't get rid of it. It is really important to keep in mind and always, always talk to yourself that, oh, yes, I have this anger. I have this, I, I agree sometimes and I ignore things. So on um, the point of the story and how um, Shin and Shonin described human being um, drunk um, by their three poison is that, as I said, we tend to ignore how drunk we are um, by our three poisons. And to sober up, one of the way is to learn and talk to yourself remind and realize the value of knowing what we don't know, that there are always limits. So um, please join me in the show.